I'm Shireen. And I'm Raina. We love Baton Rouge. And that's what this show is all about. The love that people have for this city. And how sharing it with people that visit can have a huge impact on our future. We're revisiting the people and the stories that make Baton Rouge a special place to visit and an incredible place to live. So join us on our journey as we explore the ins and outs of Baton Rouge. A place like nowhere else in the world. Today we're here at the Arts Council in Baton Rouge. From festivals to classes, anything that champions local artists, the Arts Council is a huge part of the culture that makes this city special. So let's check in to see what the Arts Council does to support Baton Rouge. Wow. This building's so tall, it's, it's big. big. Oh my God. Whoa. It looks so good in here. So colorful. Look at this beautiful wall. Oh, nice. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Beautiful space. Thank you so much. We're Looks so, so happy to be here. As a matter of fact, let me show you the gallery. Please. Yeah, let's go. So pretty. Yeah. We are here today with Renee Chatelaine, the president and CEO of the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge. Let's dive in to learn more about what and who this amazing organization brings to our city. Can we start by you telling us a little bit more about what the Arts Council is? Sure. So the Arts Council is the official arts agency for the city of Baton Rouge. We provide grants and support for our individual artists and arts organizations and also programs for the city in the arts. And um, we work for the state as well as a regional arts council. So we serve 11 parishes in addition to our city. Wow. Amazing. Can you tell us about the role that the arts play in bringing people here to Baton Rouge? Yeah, the arts here in Baton Rouge are very vibrant and people here love that the best. When they travel here, when they stay here for any length of time, it's the museums, it's the festivals, it's the music. The murals. The yeah. murals, all of the visual art offerings. You know, it makes our city appealing. Can you tell us about how the arts make Baton Rouge better and how the arts help to attract people here for different reasons, tourism, work, fun? Sure, um, you know, Baton Rouge has really a diverse array of offerings for any taste. Um, so whether you're traveling here for business, whether you're traveling here for a vacation or to visit your family, or you live here already, there are so many things to do on a daily basis that you can do that are free, that are accessible, and that speak to our culture and all the aspects of it. Not just museums, but like we said, Sunday, concerts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Live After Five Friday music festivals, yeah. right? And there are also pop-up events and festivals that happen in other parts of the city as That's well. True. So no matter what the season is, we have something to offer in the arts. And it could be arts markets, which happen every week um, throughout our city. We mm -hmm. have some very vibrant arts entrepreneurs that are selling unique gifts and offerings, but also the way that they do it in their process, they're happy to share. So if people are coming and visiting, they have great conversations with these yeah. artists. And it really, the artists themselves sort of exemplify what the population is here. We have a very friendly mm -hmm. city. I love it. If you could describe the art scene here in Baton Rouge in one word, what would you use? Well, why don't we go with blend? I do like I that. Like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And you know, when we say blend, we don't mean that we dissolve your culture from Lafayette or mm -hmm. yours from Shreveport. It's that we blend them all together. We recognize, we recognize their very idiosyncratic and beautiful traits, yeah. but we're, it's like a big gumbo, right? We blend it together and it makes this really beautiful thing that we find delicious. Yes. I love that. And love so it. we're sitting in the space and I'm looking around and I'm seeing all of these faces that blend and make this community special. So you can you tell us a little bit more about the space that we're actually sitting in. Sure, so this is the Shell Gallery, which is our exhibition gallery. Here we have Toward a Larger Freedom, and these are 100 people over 10 years who have made a real difference through grassroots efforts, things they felt passionate about that they have brought change to in our city for the better. And so um, this particular exhibit is Together Baton Rouge. Just, it's lovely, it's a community exhibit, but we have the privilege as an arts council of showcasing many, many other community organizations who may have uh, something they wanna say or emote in an artistic way. That all sounds really exciting, but we would love if we could take a look around and see the space. I would love to show you around. All right, Yay, let's, let's do it. So 
we're headed back where we started in this beautiful room. This wall was really cool. Yeah, I love that one. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, this installation is by Michaeline Walsh. It was really important to us to have a local artist create the donor wall for us in this unique way. Um, and we felt like it was really, really important to pay homage to the original people of this land. Yeah. And so Michaeline actually obtained clay from the Mississippi Riverbed and made these pieces that you see here, some of the figures, wow. um, and those are paying homage to the Mississippians who were here in this land during the time of Poverty Point. Wow. So cool. And these are the names of all the donors that made this space possible, right? Yes. In fact, the Cary Siraj Community Arts Center is supported by all of these people and Love many it. of the people in Baton Rouge. As a matter of fact, uh, Virginia and John Nolan helped to support our Black Box and Jane and Bill Grabs, our recording studio. Why don't I show you those? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do go. those. All right. Wow. Um, what is this room? Welcome. This is the Virginia and John Nolan Black Box. Wow. This is a really great space for rehearsals, for performances, um, whether it's dance, whether it's music, whether it's theater. Um, black boxes are typically used for rehearsal and small performances. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and there's even film arts here. We have a film screen that comes down, and so people screen those. We've also streamed concerts Very and cool. done lots of unique things here in this space. So much can happen in this room. Dance, performance, screenings, all kinds of things. Absolutely. And throughout this building, so I welcome you to discover some of the other rooms in our building, Yay. but also check out our rooftop. It's really fabulous. Cool. We love a rooftop. I all think right. we're going to take some time and spin around here if you don't mind. Enjoy. Take Thank you. Later. Bye. Bye, -bye. so much today about the Arts Council and what they do to promote Baton Rouge and its art community. And now it's your turn. Make sure you check out the Arts Council's website and follow them on social media for more info and everything they have going on. I'm Shireen. And I'm Raina. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Prepared for Company. <laughs>